still here at GTEC because they've got so many things that I can show you that we can talk about. I, I think one of the things that's most important are the RAID units, which have the hot swappable drives. It's, it's of vital importance, so I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm going to let Mark do it. All right. So what I'm going to tell you about is our G-Speed Q. This is the drive that you saw over at our Thunderbolt demo um, as an example of FireWire 800. Now, we call it the Q because it's a quad interface. It has FireWire and includes a FireWire 400 cable as well if you have an older machine that has FireWire 400. But FireWire, eSATA, and USB. So you can basically connect it to any system. And it has an internal RAID controller. That's the brain of the operation is inside the box so that you don't have, you can use this on a laptop, on an iMac, on anything, basically, on a, on a uh, PC as well, as long as it's reformatted. Everything we sell comes formatted for Mac. Uh, but anyway, it comes out of the box in RAID 5, which I like to call one drive worth of insurance. You're giving up one drive worth of space across all four so that any one of the four drives can fail and you don't lose anything. Now, one of the nice things is with our four bay units, we include enterprise class drives, which are like the cream of the crop. They're even more reliable than the, than the top level Hitachi drives that we use in the rest of our products. So the chances of that happening are very low. But if it does happen, all you have to do is pop this little key in and you can pull the drive out. And then you put a, a working drive back in, which you would get through our warranty support. Close it up as it's running and let it go. And over the course of a number of hours, depending on how much data you have in, it'll automatically rebuild that protection back in so you have that RAID safety net. Now are you getting like a warning or what, what's it, what is the error message that you're getting to know that the drive has failed or to know which drive has failed? Well, when it's under normal operating conditions, there will be a series of blue lights along the drives. If a drive fails, you'll see that light turn red. So it'll tell you right away that a drive's not working. And um, it's configurable up to? Up to 12 terabytes. Actually, that's one of our announcements at the show is that we're now ship we will be shipping three terabyte drives across our line, so including our four bay units. Um, we'll be shipping those in a couple months. Currently, it's available in up to eight terabytes, and that retails for $12.99 and that would give you six terabytes of usable space. The 12 terabyte version will give you nine terabytes of usable space in that RAID 5. Again, they're small, they're efficient, they do the job that needs to be done. We have a couple of different versions here. There's the, the Q, the ES, the ES Pro. I'm wondering what's the difference between them and, and the G-Safe for that matter. Right, so at least among the four bay units, we consider this our good, better, best in terms of the Q, then the ES and the ES Pro. The Q is that quad interface with the internal RAID controller. The ES is eSATA based, see the eSATA port here, and it uses an external RAID controller, a card that goes in the back of a tower computer, whether it's a PC or a Mac. You can see the, a picture of the card right here. The ES Pro is an even higher level. It has a more powerful card. It uses a mini SAS connection, which you can see here, which is even faster than the eSATA connection. So what that allows, basically, is the ES will handle any compressed HD workflows beyond what you can handle with the Q. Um, in multi-streams, multi multiple layers, no problem all day long. The ES Pro will handle uncompressed HD, for those of you who, who want to venture into that realm. And so many are. I think the most important thing is, if you're going to venture into that realm, venture with G Technology. It's there. Go to the website. Sue Lawson, Weaver News. Thanks so much, Mark.